Hi, my name is Kevin from Corec and I'm just going to show you a quick overview of Trimble Feelink. So you can see here I have a, just a standard um, CAD drawing in here, I can move it around. So up here I can do top views, I can do uh, side views, so you can see here that it's in 2D. So I can click on uh, 2D and 3D and rotate as well all around the screen, so I can lock it in and lock it all around and rotate it. So if I just imported a CAD drawing straight here now, I just want to look down on top of it and I instantly want to start setting out these um, columns and beams. So in here, just say I'm going to set out this column for today. I can go up to here to create, so I can create all stuff from the CAD drawing. I can measure and do my standard topo or I connect to my GPS and my robotic. So from here, um, I imported the CAD drawing. I can just go into create. Uh, here I can just key in points if I so wish or key in line work, but I can create from the model. So if I go into the model here and say I'm going to set out this uh, RC column. So I'm going to set out these four points. So at the bottom of the screen here you have endpoints, midpoints, intersections and circles. So I say endpoints. If I click on a box I can actually put a box around them and then say there's one point. I can actually click on the screen or I could say, hey, I want to create everything that I can see in this window. I can hit the eye and it instantly creates the models. So if I go in here and I edit these, I can give them a description. I could say column corners and I can put them on a layer. I can put them on a new layer called column corners. Once I create them, it creates my points automatically for me. So you can see that the points are here already. Um, just say I don't want to see any of the drawing on the background, all I'm going to do is concentrate on these uh, points today. So if I hit the little uh, zipper down here, I can go into my layers, it'll open up all the layers on the screen. I can click on that point and it tells me these are the two layers that I've clicked on. So it has structural frame and structural corners. So I say, yeah, I'm going to use that, I'm going to filter them. If I filter them, it turns everything off the screen and then I can work with my points. And from there I can go in and start staking out the points. Um, I also am going to create point manager and uh, from there I can zoom in here into the points so you can see here the columns are here so if I click on that I can edit that point you see that I've edited, edited it there so this is the X and Y and also could give this an elevation so if I give this an elevation I can hit apply and now when I actually rotate and um, if I go back to my map I go into rotate you can see now that it has moved that into the 3D space. So from there I can go into settings and go into elevations and you can see that it has a 100 elevation on it. I can go into my descriptions and see that it's on column corners. So from there that's just how to create in uh, 2D and 3D from a CAD drawing. Uh, for example I can go more into jobs, manage my jobs from there I can go into like a model from SKP, so here's one I did earlier called Corec and in here you can see that I've created all these points there for our logo. So if I go in here to my zipper into layers, you can see that I can turn off all the layers and just put on Corec. So these are all the points or I can just turn on the default layer and the zero layer would have my model on them. So from there I can go into my 3D rotate and you see that it's on 3D. From there I can also go in and change the settings into a solid state, so this is the blueprint mode. I can also go into black round and I can go into white background, so you can customize there, so in the 3D. So you can lock in the 3D view as well and zoom in and zoom out while the 3D is locked on. And that's your basic overview on 2D and 3D in Trimble Felix. Thank you.